everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so happy you're here because you are fly and cool shit, stuff like that. Today we're snarking, and you know who we're snarking on because we got to at least do one or two a week. Alicia is about to make some mistakes, and there's going to be mistakes. Okay? Sorry. Hang on. This is going to be funny because she can't do shit. You know how hard it is to make a good steak? And she's going to waste probably hundreds of dollars with meat. And I'm going to be here to make fun of her for it. Because that's what we do. That is my duty as a YouTuber. So let's go. So without further ado, let's get to this doo-doo. I'm on a rhyming thing today. Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Daiquiri Dozen. And do, do, do. And we are making, grilling some steak for dinner tonight for my family of 14, plus Nana and Papa. Nana, you son of a bitch. You coming over for some steaks and taters? I'm excited to have you. Get in here and clean the house while you're at it. And make sure Papa brings his batteries for his hearing aid this time. We want to talk to him about some shit. Here, so 16 people, but first, coffee. Coffee. Right. Holy shit, ribeyes. She bought ribeyes. I have six. New York strips. That, okay, I was going to say I thought that one steak was $39. That would be Canadian prices. So four steaks for 40 bucks, that's not bad. 10 bucks a steak, that would be about $80 here. Strip steaks, four ribeyes. Ribeye. Uh, each of these cube steaks have two in them. None of them shits is marbled enough. Who, where? Wegmans, your steak sucks. Guys, if you want a good steak, and I'm not sponsored by them, I just love these guys who own Chicago Steak Company. They're my friends. And it's the best steak I've ever eaten in my life. If you want good steak, go to Chicago Steak Company, mychicagosteak.com. I promise you, you will be like, what the F? They're better than, Omaha doesn't even come close, okay? Nobody comes close to Chicago Steak Company. I'm pretty sure they sing to those cows, right? I'm pretty sure they like groom them and shampoo them and stuff. So, MyChicagoSteak.com. Go get yourself some steaks, all right? Now that she's doing this, you know I'm going to have to do a video on how to properly cook a steak. So six cube steaks and the porterhouse for Josh. So Josh gets the $80 steak. That's nice. That's a big-ass piece of meat. Some Your kids are going to have the meat sweats. Everybody's going to be shitting bricks later. We're also going to make salt potatoes. I forgot. What is salt potatoes? Sounds good. What are salt potatoes? Interesting. I like potatoes. I also enjoy salt. So somebody tell me, are those good? Because I'm going to Buffalo tomorrow. Today, actually. I'm going to Buffalo today. Because this is tomorrow. I'm leaving tomorrow. And I will pick up some salt potatoes. Are they good? To get asparagus. So we're just going to have salad. Salad. Put up some watermelon and saute some Ew, mushroom. mushrooms. Mushrooms. I hate mushrooms. All right. The first thing we're going to do is get our water boiled. Can you take that damn sticker off that pot, please? Please! Oh, it pisses me off that she didn't remove that sticker. Is this thing focusing? Or what are we doing here? What's going on here? Okay. Salt potatoes. We have 10 pounds of salt potatoes. You do not need to make 10 pounds of potatoes, okay? And here's why. Because that's too many potatoes. Okay? Are you really going to eat 10 pounds of potatoes? You can make half that and it would feed your family. It's a side. It's not a main dish. It's the side of the steak. First of all, you're feeding each kid like what looks like t more steak than any of them could possibly eat. Maybe Alex and James could eat a big one themselves. But you got little kids. Are they going to eat an entire New York strip or ribeye? Right? You could have bought half that steak. Each kid gets a half a steak. You dumbass. Hi. And then you're going to feed them a pound of potatoes each? It's a of it's not Look. When a kid comes in, disengages. Every time, it's like you can't not see it anymore. Isn't that crazy? She's like, on the camera, here's the potatoes. And then he says something and she, gone. It's gone. Some people said it's a trauma and ADHD response. That's what they're saying. What? Look at, there's like smoke coming off of the pool cover because it was cold and now it's hot and sunny. What is this shirt? Go find less. What is that supposed to mean? Is that what happened to your brain? Burn. That was a burn. I'm supposed to have a track meet in one hour. That's why I'm making dinner early. I don't know. 
Oh, it just thundered. I bet it's sunny all the time. Now it's sunny. I bet there's a rainbow out there. Stop. All right, I'm filling up a big pot of water. With a sticker on it. Oh, for salt potatoes. I need to know what salt potatoes are because I'm, I'm, they sound delicious. This is regional to upstate New York. Explain further, please. With the five pound bag of potatoes, each one comes for the, with this packet of salt. Mix it in with the water. Oh. So... They're called salt potatoes because it comes with salt, which you can just pour just normal salt in there. Because when you make good mashed taters, any taters to begin with, okay? If you're making full whole potatoes boiled, you pour the salt in that bitch, okay? Or, or literally boil it in chicken broth. The entire thing in chicken broth. The potato will absorb that shit. Have you ever just had a cold potato that's a salted potato? Like, that's delicious. <laughs> I could easily grow up in the 1900s and 1800s and shit like that. Easily. I could easily have grown up in the old days. If Just give me a potato. I'm good. Potatoes are like... I'm convinced that potatoes are the best food in the world. I mean, they're bad for you. But they're so good. Do you ever wonder, like, you ever sit back and you think, oh, in the 1700s, 1600s, like, you know they had animal fats and they had olive oil and they had all those oils. Did they deep fry shit back then? <laughs> like, right? You ever imagine, like, you ever, like, sometimes I have shower thoughts. Lots of people have shower thoughts. Most of my shower thoughts include me being like a superhero or like saving the day somewhere or doing some scenario that's never going to happen. Like I'm freaking James Bond or some shit, right? But I have sometimes have these, these shower thoughts where I'm like, man, if I could travel back in time, right? I'd go back to like the 1600s, like the Romans. And I'm like, how do I integrate? I'm like, okay, guys, I know some shit about cooking you guys I don't know. And I will make you fucking French fries and like fried chicken and shit. It will be written about in the history books. That's what I do. I think you guys have thought that same thing. It actually like doesn't penetrate into a potato. It just Don't say penetrate, please. It makes the skin delicious. So it doesn't penetrate. It means you're not peeling the potatoes. That's happening. Okay. It's so She's about to make 10 pounds of potatoes. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot of salt. Is she making 20 pounds of potatoes? Is that what I just saw? Your each kid does not need more than a pound of potatoes, Alicia. You know what a pound of food is? Are you kidding me? I said half the bag. She's doubling, she's doing 20 pounds of potatoes. What else do your kids do? You don't hang out with them at all, we know. Twenty pounds of potatoes. Twenty pounds. Don't do that face. Stop doing a face. I'm gonna put this on high. On the high. Holy shit! That's gonna take a half hour or more to boil. Okay, let's get the grill started. Those potatoes. Where's Josh? You know you're not supposed to grill. That's not how this works. Alicia, you don't know how to cook. At least we think Josh knows how to grill, which we don't. Last time you made chicken, I'm pretty sure everybody in your house almost died. That shit was medium rare. You cannot serve chicken medium rare. First, your gr second, your grill was like ground zero for the new black plague that's coming. So what are you doing? They're just gonna boil for a long time. Yeah, like an hour or so. Why do you even cover it? That shit looks like it was found in the dungeon of a serial killer's house. Why even cover that shit? Turn on the gas. Remember last time she tried to light her barbecue? If she does that, I can't be so pissed. Okay, usually there's holes in the side of your barbecue you can stick the lighter in. But what she does is she, <laughs> she puts the lighter in and then she presses the lighter button, like the, the igniter. That's not how this works. The igniter should be igniting it. You don't need to stick your lighter in and then press the igniter, you dumbass. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. She better not. Okay. Oh, the grill wasn't clean from last time. Okay, watch. Okay, that's all you need. Right there. Now just light it. You don't need to press the igniter. Don't you dare. Grill. He finally said I can buy him a new one for Father's Day. 
That's the face. You idiot! It's not how this works! Is it? There we go. I don't believe you. There's no... That doesn't make any sense to me. How is that making... How does that work? Is it... If you turn the burner on, the fuel is coming through the line. The lighter lights the fuel. Why are you pressing the igniter as well? How, I don't get it. I think she, it's. A, I think she thinks she's lighting with lighter. I don't think she realizes the lighter doesn't even actually have to be in there. The igniter is actually working. So the lighter she sticks in there doesn't actually do anything. So she's got it backwards. Well, you have to find the burner that is actually emitting the gas, then light it with the lighter. But the igniter actually works. It's like Sauron's asshole in there. Who's gonna cook shit on that? No wonder, yeah, you gotta, here's what you're gonna do if you're gonna get a barbecue, especially if you're gonna make some steaks. Okay, find a big ass one with a flat top on it and then a grill on the side, okay? That, everybody's cooking flat top now, that's how you should do it anyway. If you wanna make a great steak, you just do continuous flip and then put it on low heat with a, like a little Bluetooth temperature gauge in it until the inside is perfect. Okay, I learned this from a guy named Cooking with Clint on Instagram. You should go follow him. He's really cool. I did some videos with him for Chicago Steak Company because they're amazing. And the way he made his steaks, oh my God, I might just overlay how it's supposed to be done right here with you guys. But I want to do it myself too. Now that I got a flat top because I bought the Blackstone, I did. I had to get it. Just basting that shit in butter. Oh, holy cow. Hers is going to taste like shit. Okay, it's on, close the lid, let it heat up. You want that shit to be hot. When you put that freaking steak on that grill, I want a flesh to burn. Go to that second row light. Use the lighter. One day she's going to burn off her eyebrows, so I'm going to laugh. We're all going to laugh at her. There we go. Like grill cleaner. Actually, I'm Ah, see, she got a different one because we made fun of her for cleaning it dangerously. Right, yeah. Wow, why don't you let it heat up first, then try that, you dumbass. Oh my gosh, not even trying. Alicia listens, or Auntie Lauren, or Lucy, whatever her name is. I think she pays Auntie Lauren. I know that Alicia pays Auntie Lauren to watch her haters' videos and then give her like the rundown of what we're all saying so she can keep track of what we're saying. Because every time I say something about her, she literally does the thing that I made fun of her for. She changes it. So she's listening or changing it. And it's just weird. If you want to change something, Alicia, stop exploring your kids, asshole! Feed them healthy food! Why do you listen to all the weird shit but not the most important stuff? Wow, you suck ass. You're not even cl you're cleaning every other one. So yeah, I'm making dinner now because if I make dinner after Patrick's track meet, it will be way too late for Nana and Papa to drive home. Now, it, it just thundered like five minutes ago. Now it's sunny, I know. Okay, welcome to weather. Cool. I don't understand. What are you doing, New York? All right, let's go get it the hates you. steak seasoned. Should have, okay, that should have been done already. Okay, I am down. don't season oh. my steaks very much. I just kind of like them pretty much plain. Salt and pepper them shits. Or get some Chicago steak spice. Do I have any here? I usually have a bunch floating around. Okay, it's just, you know what, rock salt, really good, you need the pink stuff too, the pink rock salt, uh, or and pepper. That's it, that's all you really need. Okay, let me a little garlic afterwards, but uh, and pound it. Put salt on that shit, but not too long before you grill it, because you don't want it to pull out a ton of the moisture. Right, about five to 10 minutes before you go grill that shit. I'm just gonna do some seasonal. No, you just said you don't like, <laughs> Garlic powder, onion powder. Okay, that's way too much spice for a steak, Yash. I don't like spicing a lot. And yet, you're going to spice the shit out of it. When all you need is salt and pepper. She didn't wash her hands, by the way. Just so you guys are aware. <laughs> Them shits are still frozen, lady. Take the protective that is still pretty frozen. Just gonna leave the blood on the thing. Cool. The oh my god. And then the cube steaks just take a second, so I'll do those last. 
Your potatoes aren't even steaming yet. You should probably wait about a half an hour before you even think about putting these steaks on the grill so your kids can have a hot meal. But we all know Alicia doesn't give a shit if her kids have a hot meal. So the steaks are going to be done 30 minutes before the potatoes done. And the, yeah, you got to let your steak rest. Don't get me wrong. Five minutes, seven minutes under some tin foil to keep in the moisture and everything else. Yes, there is a rest period. But you don't want it to rest so it's cold. Right? There's a perfect time to serve a steak. If you're going to, I, I, like, am I even saying this shit? Her kids never are going to eat delicious food. <laughs> I hate that face she does. You're going to feed that to one of your children. That's like two pounds of steak. You're gonna, one of your kids can eat that? Come on. That can feed three of your children, your smallest children, that one piece. What? People can't even afford freaking butter these days. Can't get eggs. Alicia's about to drop hundreds of dollars with a steak that is going to go right in the garbage. Because I don't think you can feed chickens steak. Maybe they feed the dogs. I don't know. She's literally going to waste all of the... All, most of the steak is going in the garbage, by the way. And that is just... That breaks my heart. Hope you... Yeah. Towel that shit off. Uh, it's recycling. Guys, the higher marbled the steak, the juicier the steak. Understood? Okay, got it. It's different than the, the thick fat part on the outside. It's different than that. The marbling inside melts into the meat. That's why you need marbled steak. That's why you go to Chicago Steak Company. Let's get this seasoned. First of all, you didn't, you didn't pat dry it. I don't use a lot of seasoning. You used to use weird, shitty seasoning. That's gross, lady. I hurt. My soul hurts right now. It's so sad. She didn't even start with salt and pepper. Are you even going to put salt and pepper on it? I don't have much onion powder left. I need to get more. I also need you to get suck. Onion. You put onion powder, garlic powder, and whatever else on steak. No, you don't. I'm sorry. I know people will be like, I do, but you're wrong. You'd be wrong. Salt and pepper, man. Or a good steak rub. That's it. You don't need this shit. Onion and garlic salts. <laughs> <clears throat> Make sure you touch everything intimately. You don't have to do that. Like an idiot. Oh my god. And it better just be salt and pepper on the other side. It's not. It's the same shit. You son of a bitch. I'm going to cook these about medium-ish. So I'm going to do about five minutes per side. Well, Just get a meat thermometer if you're going to do this properly. Again, one more thing she's not going to do properly. Being called for. Cool. Spit on the grill, too. Awesome. Delicious. Right, turn this down. And turn it right above medium. You dirty rat. It's your <laughs> thumb. I love how she like rubs it with her hands and touches everything, and but she's like when she puts on the grill, I need tongs. They have this, and they also have the smallest barbecue ever for 14 people. So here's what's gonna happen. They have a small grill that doesn't work, right? She's gonna put less than, she's gonna put looks like maybe five steaks if she's lucky on this thing. She has 16 steaks to make. So whoever wants their steak, like maybe if you're gonna just do a roll and the potatoes are done, when your steak is ready, pile the potatoes, pile the salad on there, come grab your steak, it's ready. 
How, what if they each want a different way of doing the steak? Yours is ready. Come get it. And then like, it doesn't really, they don't sit down and eat together anyway. So what does it matter? That's what I don't like. Cause she needs to take a picture for it for Instagram and like TikTok and shit first. That's what I hate this. Oh, these poor kids. I bet just comments like, oh, I wish I could get steak. Yeah, I'm sure you do. But if she cooked it for you, it'd just be cold and shitty. So it doesn't really matter if she buys expensive steak. That T-bone is still frozen. Not even, I cannot believe she didn't put salt and pepper on these shits. I can't believe it. There you go, six steaks. Wash this up. I washed the pan up for when they're done. I left my tongs inside. You're a, oh. you're a tongue. My lordy. Okay, wash the tongs. Why? Who cares? It's red meat. It's not chicken. You'd be fine. You'd be fine. See, she does it all wrong. She does it all backwards. You can literally eat that red meat raw if you wanted to. You'd be fine. Oh, my God. You suck. The right side of their grill is way better than the left side of their grill. Yeah, turn the heat down. That's just not gonna do anything. <laughs> it's really smoky. So five to seven minutes per side. Uh, Josh and I are neurotic and we like the grill lines, like the cross lines. So I'm just gonna flip it for like a minute per side to get the grill lines. That's stupid. You worry about grill lines but not giving your kids hot food? Okay, makes sense I guess. It's such a shame. It's such a shame that these kids aren't gonna have good steak. Just there's if you're gonna buy expensive steak, just just do your research, please. You just wasted so much food. Do the same thing with chicken. So like if you look Don't tell us about chicken, okay? The last chicken you made was literally still clucking when you put took it off the barbecue and fed it to your children. Okay. It was still like kick, 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 mealworms. And it would go here, here. Here, here. Does that make sense? No, nothing you do makes sense, especially your eyebrows. But it will have the nice. Or your thumbs. I'm gonna smell like a steak. It will. Guess it's better than smelling dog piss. Have <laughs> the nice grill line. And just watch your Bodie jumping on the trampoline. Woohoo! Oh, and our pool gets opened on Friday. Yay! I can't wait. How often do you think that they let their kids go swimming without watching them? Are you going to go jump? The neighbors would probably know. With him. Dixie likes to go on the trampoline, too. Nana fed the chickens for me. Okay, let's go. That, look at the size. It's like a small dog. With that steak. Hey, you said medium. Them shits are going to be well done. Which is... That's atrocious. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, man. That one burnt. All right, so that is like flame broiling right now. We're going to let that cool down for a minute. But here is the finished product. You let those sit. You bastard. You ruined it. You ruined it. Those juices keep sitting. Hi. No, I'm coming. So that, okay, so that was ready. That probably took 15 minutes to make those steaks, right? She's got three more batches of steak to cook. So we're talking another 30 minutes that those steaks that she just finished before they even get to a lip of a person. But don't forget, she has to bring it all in, take a picture of it, and then they can eat. So we're talking 35, 38 minutes, maybe even 40 minutes before those steaks she just pulled off the grill literally touched the lips of a human. They're being cold as a witch's tit. Delicious. Mmm, this cold steak is so good. He wants to show me something. I'm and I'm glad you put all this powdery shit on it. I mean, right now, potatoes are boiling. They are starting to. Let's see. Didn't look like they were boiling. Uh, 
I want these salt potatoes now. Like I'm gonna, I'm buying them tomorrow. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. What are you doing? You don't need to stir potatoes, dumbass. Okay. Maybe stick a fork in one to see if it's done. Let's get our mushrooms cooking. Oh. oh the smashing of shit. The fire alarm going off. Uh, keep... Is somebody dying? We're playing a game. I don't know what it is. Loud, apparently. Why are you screaming? Yeah. When are they not screaming and hitting stuff with sledgehammers? That's the house. Nobody's gonna eat these mushrooms, by the way. Don't. No. Your oil wasn't hot. Alicia. Oh. USB C. What the f, man? Your oil wasn't even hot. Yeah, crowd it. Crowd it with another one. That's great. Holy shit, nuggets. Alicia, go get yourself the friggin' blacktop grill. Let's put it outside. It's big enough. Get the biggest one you can find. You, you kids will love you for it. James wants to cook. Get him one of those. Let him start cooking. You could do uh, huge meals on that flat top. Oh, I hate this person. <laughs> Yummy. Oh my god. None of it's gonna cook properly. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, please stop doing this. What was the point of that? Let those cook down. Yeah. Cook them down. Alright, this is the last batch to go on. She probably, probably burnt the middle batch. Oh, holy, the, the, the literal barbecue paint is on fire on the back of that thing. The paint is on fire. Yummy! Carcinogen's ready for dinner! Like, she knows that the paint is on fire in the barbecue, right? Just waiting for that to die down. Just get a bottle of water, put it next to why am I saying? I, who cares? You know what? You want to burn paint, put it on your food? Cool. I'm not going to tell you anymore. Wait. So while you wait, those first steaks she made, them shits are cooling down. And you can't put them in a heated oven because they will continue to cook. My new grill is so bad. You picked one out already. <laughs> good. Spit on it more. Yeah, good job. The lighter isn't doing anything, Alicia! It's time for a song. Hey, Alicia. That light is not doing anything. Hey, Alicia. All the steak you made's gonna be freezing. You dumbass. Hey, Alicia. The paint on your barbecue's on fire. And so your kids are gonna eat burnt paint on their burnt steak. Learn to cook, learn to cook, please learn to cook, learn to cook, you dumbass. Oh, head over to Instagram, follow me there, another story. So, I've been playing a lot of sports lately because I'm trying to get slimmed down, do my boxing, I'm doing some weights again, I'm getting, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be dad bod summer. Okay, that's what I'm doing, I'm gonna go down 25 pounds, that's my goal, it's gonna be dope, all right? But the thing I want to do, because they keep injuring myself, last time, last time I played pickleball last week, which was a week ago today, 
I hurt my back and I don't know what happened. I couldn't play for another week. So went out and bought myself a hundred gallon like horse watering tank. They're like 200 bucks, super cheap, made of like really, really good thick plastic. Fill it up with water. I found a used ice maker that makes this thick ass ice, 40 pounds of ice. And I'm going to start doing ice plunges. And man, my wiener is going to be like, bye. But I'm hoping it's going to you know, alleviate all the shit that's going on in my body. So if you guys do that, let me know because I'm excited about it. So hot, who's going to do hot dad bud summer with me? You guys going to do hot dad bud summer? Let's go. You're with me. Let's go. What are you doing in the chicken coop? Kicking chickens. Okay, just, why are you waiting? Why is your basketball? Did the basketball go into the chicken coop? Because you can hurt a chicken. If you hit it with a basketball. You don't need the lighter, Alicia. Don't ask why around here. You don't why? Why don't you ask why? Why don't you ask why? You moron. See, it just lit without her pressing the igniter. See? You dumbass. So now you got a cold grill. You got to wait till you heat up again. Okay, cool. So the first steaks will not touch somebody's lips for about 45 to 50 minutes. Yummy. You just wasted a $35 T-bone steak. You think Josh is going to be in there just like, yeah, thanks for the cold ass steak, lady. Okay. And she's wearing those damn jeans again. Alicia, stop. Okay. It's time to retire the jeans. You can hang them up on the wall and be like, these are retired. No one else can wear them. But stop wearing them. You know that's gross, right? These I'm gonna put down, you can see this, slightly under medium. No, we can see that shit. Because these cuts will cook faster. Every time you can dump. If you miss it, you have to grab it and dump it. Oh, nice. Okay, check it out. Why are you having the, the camera on you? You're cooking, right? Let's see the steak. No one wants to see your face. You suck. All right, what? off this shit. All right, let's go wash this pan. You don't need to. I mean, the, the juice is probably better if you kept it on the pan, not gonna lie. You gonna go jump on the trampoline? And she's only washing the pan because she knows that people are gonna say something. That's it. So again, everything she does, she she does in the face of like what comments is she gonna receive for doing this type of content. That's it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, those shits are already well done. So, and you now you're about to flip them again. Here's your delicious charcoal steak, kids. Enjoy it. Um, I. Then it'll be the warmest one. Figured you go oh, mom that's good. And I'll go. The asparagus I forgot to buy, but could you please stir the mushrooms? Pfft, mushrooms been there cooking for half an hour. Sure. Yeah, we'll just have salad. I forgot to buy these. Salad. Nobody's gonna eat these asparagus anyway. <laughs> Uh, Nana took Dash to his ukulele lesson, and he's always picking on her driving. Can I look? How's ukulele? Nana just took the same thing I said. Yes. What? No. She's not. What'd you say, Papa? Dash, go ask him what he said. Papa can't hear you. He doesn't put his hearing aid on when he comes to your house. You know this. Why ask him shit? I blindly said yes. He could have just said, can I have a million dollars? Well, I don't know what he said. <laughs> All right, Nana's inside. She's finishing up the mushrooms and the potatoes, and she's putting the salad in a bowl. Nana, you son of a bitch. 
They're not triplets. Stop I calling them that. So again, it's been, yeah, almost an hour since she's cooked those steaks. <laughs> Yummy things. Okay, finished product. We're gonna eat Ew. really, really quick. It's like, yeah, go ahead. Okay, I just want to show you guys what the inside of the steak looks like. That's not bad, but that's not medium. We're having quite the discussion. <laughs> All right, Nana's helping me serve. Okay. Nana's gonna take my van to take the kids to the track meet. I'm gonna take the Altima to go to the track meet and then take Zoe to horseback. Isn't that James's car? Friday. I got my dinner on the go. Yes, I put my salad on top of my steak. We gotta take the Altima. We're taking James's car. I um, got on my Monday night work Zoom and completely forgot to say goodnight to everybody. So Shut up. You don't get to say goodnight. You could piss right off. Okay, so she ruined steak. That's just one more thing that Alicia ruins. You are the thief of joy, Alicia. The stealer of fun and the failure of hot meals. That was gross, man. Get a new grill, dumbass. Anyway, everybody take a deep breath. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being amazing, incredible, and valuable. And if you cook your steak like that, don't call me, okay? We're not friends. Salt and pepper, right? But tell me about the salt potatoes. Are they good? Should I get some? I'm getting some anyway. I love potatoes. Do you love potatoes? Let me know below if you love potatoes. Because I love you and your potatoes. That's not bad. Just, you know what I'm saying. You're amazing, incredible value. Don't forget it. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>